deep in my thoughts today. I woke up in my head. A lot has been going on in my life, you know, just reflecting on everything. And it just led me to think about how I am as a person. And hopefully I don't get too emotional because um, I've just been really emotional lately. I know that I'm the type of person that, like I said in one of my past videos, I suffer in silence a lot, you know, because I don't really talk too much about my problems. I feel like everyone has issues and things going on in their lives. That's what life is. You know, everybody trying to tackle their own problems and make the best of their life that they can. And I feel like because I know that everyone goes through problems, I keep everything to myself and I don't really speak on, um, you know, what it is I feel, even when I feel really, really, really heavy. And it just led me to think about a lot of things because it's a lot of stuff going on, you know, in, in my family life as well. And I just wanna say, please stop suffering in silence. A lot of times as, it, it doesn't even have to be a woman. Sometimes your personality, because of the things that you've been through in your life, makes you feel like you can't share really deep parts of yourself and personal parts of yourself because, you know, you've been taken advantage of in the past and stuff like that. But suffering in silence is one of the worst things you can do because eventually it's going to be unbearable. And it might make you make decisions that you're really not happy with making. Me talking about this right now is not just me talking to you guys, it's me talking to myself because I really have to coach myself through not being so silent. But then it's like, you don't wanna be left open for people to take advantage of you, which I completely understand. But hopefully you have at least one person you feel like you're connected to enough to where you can share some of your thoughts and not have so much going on inside of you that you're just not speaking on because it can really, really be detrimental. You can walk past so many people every day and not even realize that they're suffering in silence, that they're contemplating not even being here. You know, like life is deep and life is hard for people. I think what differs from, what differs from me and you and everyone else is just the ability to handle your situations that you go through. But you never know, some people might reach their breaking point and they might not know how to deal with things. A simple text message to say, I'm here for you if you ever need to talk. Or I love you, or I miss you, you're really special to me, you mean a lot to me. Those little things, whenever that's in your heart to say, please speak that into people. You never know what little thing could help somebody make a better decision in their life suicide is real you know and people go through things every day where they're hurting and they're not feeling good about themselves or they're suffering they're you know they don't feel like anyone's there for them they don't feel like they're supported in any type of way support doesn't always have to be money you know it could be an ear it could just be a hug it could be words of affirmation like positive words that you speak into people speaking life into people is real maybe i should make like a group chat or something where we're able to speak openly about any issues and problems that we have and find solutions or just be there as a support group for everyone so that they can feel comfortable speaking their truth you know if that's something that you guys want to do make sure you let me know in the comment section below of this video or i'll make a poll and the more people respond to it the better i don't know i just felt like i needed to speak on that like stop guys stop suffering in silence stop suffering in silence you have someone that cares about you you know even if you don't think so someone cares about you enough to hear about you know the things that you have going on and to be there i'm here by myself and i don't feel like i have anyone that i could actually share my feelings with not like an in-person type of thing but virtual is okay too you know I'm still, like I told you, I'm still the type of person that feels like my problems are too heavy for other people. I'm a really deep thinker and I overanalyze what I have going on within myself. Things might not even be as bad, but in my perspective, you know, through my lenses, I feel like it is and, and things are going on, you know. I'm very much a sensitive person. I cry through all of my like every, everything I feel, I cry. 
Like I literally, that's, that's how I let off my emotions. I cry tears of joy a lot. I cry because I'm sad. I cry because I'm frustrated. Like that's just my way of doing things. And I've been like that since I've been a child. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just my way. And a lot of times I, I hated that because it was just like, oh, I hate being so sensitive. You know, why can't I have another way of, like, why does this always have to channel into tears, you know? But <laughs> that's just me. That's what I've gone through. And, you know, I think that's just a result of my childhood and, you know, the things that I went through when I was a child. But I want you guys to know that you're loved and you're supported. You know, no matter what, if you feel like you need to talk, you can DM me on Instagram. You can make a comment under this video. I think I might do a thing where we have like a group to where, like I said, we'll have a group to where we can talk about our issues and our problems. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to, oh, I think I want to call it the safety circle because that just came to my mind. I don't really know, but just where everyone feels supported, they feel cared for, a virtual group where we can be there for each other. And zero negativity will be tolerated. I will block you. I don't, I don't want any negativity whatsoever. Which brings me to another situation. I'm not gonna really speak on it too much, but I've been getting some comments talking about um, just negativity and stuff like that surrounding me as a person first thing i want to say is no one knows me personally so even if you feel like you have a right to speak on who i am as a person you don't know me and then on top of that if you don't like me you definitely don't have to click on this video you don't have to click on my channel you don't have to message how to sit there and take the time out of your day to message me something negative in my opinion is really a waste of time you should probably use your time a little bit more wisely than wasting energy on me if you don't like me and like i said i don't have any problems blocking you and deleting you i have a zero tolerance policy for negativity and for bullying and for just for bringing people down in any type of way that's not what my channel is about i don't really care what negative opinions you have of me you can keep those to yourself and like i said if you don't want to watch me no one's forcing you to do that so you can exit or do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do i want my channel to be about positivity i want it to be about love and no one's perfect first of all you know what i'm saying everyone's trying everyone's doing the best that they can as people and I don't, and I feel like if you're judging someone else, then you have a lot that you need to go within and work on within yourself, because I don't think anyone has a right to judge other people and be negative and put someone down. But I, like I said, I really want to do that group because I feel like it'll be really good for us to feel like we're there supporting each other. Not really like a gender thing, just support, you know, just like a family. So I want to call it the safety circle. If you guys are interested and being a part of the safety circle, make sure you comment that below. Like I said, the more people I see interested in it, the more chance I have of actually going through with it and making that a thing for us. Because like I said, a lot of people don't have support in life and suicide is real and the rates are high. And I don't think anyone should feel like they can't handle life enough that they wanna take that route. You know what I'm saying? No judgment or anything like that, but I want everyone to feel love and support it because we're all people just trying to navigate through this world together. And we all feel so separate when in all actuality, we're all one and the same. We're all connected in some type of way. That's what life is about. Um, so I just really wanted to say that. Make sure you guys subscribe and have your bell turned on so that you know each and every time I upload a video. I love you guys so much. Follow me on my social media. Also, still let me know if you like the first one I've been had with Naya, which I really do like, and I think I'm just going to keep that one. Or if you guys like the second one. The second one's nice too, but I don't know. It's something about the video with Naya that makes me feel really close to her. So, but you know, she's still on it anyway but just let me know you guys also you guys i forgot to do the love letter and our love letter for the day goes to kareem monroe 559 shout out to you kareem thank you so much for leaving a love letter her letter said i love your videos and consistency i'm glad you're back posting thank you i really really appreciate it and like i said i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video